Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow marks the 60th anniversary of a monumental and groundbreaking National Hockey League occasion. On January 18, 1958, a 22-year-old winger from Fredericton, New Brunswick, was called up to play in his first NHL game for the Bruins in Montreal. That night, Willie O'Ree became the first black player in NHL history, a moment that would serve to pave the way for all future players of diverse ethnic and economic backgrounds. For the past 20 years, Willie has played an important role as the NHL's diversity ambassador, leading the charge for the Hockey is for Everyone initiative. This week, he spread his positive and inspirational message of inclusion throughout the community. Earlier today, Willie was joined here at TD Garden by the mayor of Boston, Marty Walsh, NHL Commissioner Gary Beckman, and Boston Bruins CEO Charlie Jacobs, where plans were announced to renovate the Smithfield Street Hockey Rink in Alston and dedicate it as the Willie O'Ree Rink. Mayor Walsh has also proclaimed tomorrow Willie O'Ree Day in the city of Boston. And a new mural was created by Boston students featuring Willie's favorite quote, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, please join the National Hockey League and the Boston Bruins in welcoming Mr. Willie O'Ree out on the ice for the ceremonial puck drop. Willie is accompanied this evening by youth hockey players Eva Ryan, Justin Nan, Nick Sherburn, and Corin Jackson, part of SCORE Boston Hockey, a program dedicated to providing inner city youth with the opportunity to experience the joy of playing hockey. Will Captains Max Pacioretty and Zidane Chara please come forward for tonight's ceremonial puck drop. Thank you, Mr. Willie. 